Section 1. Endoscope preparation and detergent dosing. Section 2. Aspiration and flushing with Olympus endoscopes. Section 1. Endoscope preparation and detergent dosing. Prior to connecting the Scope Buddy Plus endoscope flushing aid to an endoscope for flushing, ensure the endoscope has been leak tested. Endoscopes should be leak tested before submersion for manual cleaning as part of the overall reprocessing protocol defined in the manufacturer's instructions. Scope Buddy Plus endoscope flushing aid can also be used to dose detergent prior to brushing and flushing the interior channels. Dosing is used to dispense detergent to the sink or both the sink and a clean container, depending on the pathway chosen. Do not connect the endoscope until the detergent dosing is complete. At the beginning of each cycle, users are prompted to enter the identification number for the user, endoscope, and patient ID if using via the barcode scanner or manually by selecting the keypad icon. To dose detergent only to a sink, ensure the pump tube is installed and that both ends of the pump tube are in the sink with the correct volume of water. Both temperature sensors should be in the sink. Press play to begin dosing to the sink. To dose to both the sink and a clean container, the unit will dose to the sink first. Ensure both ends of the pump tube are in the sink filled with the correct volume of water. The temperature sensor labeled sink should be in the sink, and the sensor labeled clean container in the clean container. Press play to begin dosing detergent to the sink. The user will be prompted to dose to the clean container. Place the weighted end of the auxiliary detergent out tube into the clean container with the correct fluid volume. Press play to begin dosing to the clean container. The endoscope brushing step will be documented. The brushing step provides a timer. Using the up and down arrows, select the desired brush time. Press play to begin the timer. Brush the endoscope channels in accordance with the endoscope manufacturer's instructions for use. The time logged will be displayed in the bottom right corner of the screen and recorded in the data log. Section 2. Aspiration and flushing with Olympus endoscopes. This section describes how to hook up Olympus endoscopes to the Scope Buddy Plus endoscope flushing aid using the 24 hour multi use hookup for Olympus endoscopes. Olympus endoscope channels should be hooked up after brushing and prior to aspiration and flushing in order to provide flow to the internal channels. The automatic mode will walk users through the process to aspirate and flush endoscopes. Ensure the 24-hour multi-use hookup for Olympus endoscopes is attached to the 24-hour multi-use pump tube. 1. Apply the channel plug to the scope, leaving the biopsy cap off only for the aspiration step. 2. Push on the air-water blanking cap. 3. For endoscopes with an auxiliary water channel or elevator wire channel, insert the connector on endoscope's port and turn clockwise until fully engaged. It's important to attach the connector first, prior to any other connectors. 4. For endoscopes without an auxiliary water channel or elevator wire channel, close the pinch clip. 5. Push the air probe tubing onto the endoscope's air probe until fully engaged. 6. Align the silicone suction tubing with the suction barb on the endoscope. Push the tubing onto the barb until it is fully engaged. Continue with the aspiration step. The aspiration step runs the pump in reverse, drawing fluid through the biopsy channel. Ensure the biopsy cap is off the endoscope's biopsy port. Close all the pinch tubes to the 24-hour multi-use hookup for Olympus endoscope. Remove the strainer from the end of the pump tube and set aside. Hold the end of the pump tube without the strainer over the sink. The default aspiration time is 30 seconds, but can be adjusted by using the up and down arrows. Press play to begin aspirating. Upon completion of the aspiration step, prepare the endoscope for flushing by replacing the strainer to the pump tube and replacing the biopsy cap on the endoscope biopsy port. 
On the 24-hour multi-use hookup for endoscope tubing that is connected to the endoscope, release the pinch clips. The flushing step draws detergent from either the sink or the clean container and into the endoscope channels. When using 24-hour multi-use hookup for Olympus endoscopes, close the pinch clips that are not connected to an endoscope port. Submerge the pump tube strainer into the sink or clean container. The default flushing time is 1 minute and 35 seconds. This time has been validated to cover worst case flushing times for all endoscopes. Press play to begin flushing. Verify that fluid is exiting all channels of the endoscope during flushing. Before continuing to the air purge step, check the strainer for clogging. Clean as needed. The first air purge step runs the pump to circulate air through the endoscope and expel detergent solution. Prepare for the air purge by lifting the pump tube strainer out of the fluid, draining the sink, and pressing play to begin the air purge step. Now it's time to rinse the endoscope with clean water. The rinsing step pumps clean water through the endoscope channels. Place the endoscope in a sink of clean water. Place the pump tube strainer into the sink or container with clean water. The rinsing time defaults to the flushing time of 1 minute 35 seconds. Press play to begin the rinsing step. The second air purge step runs the pump to circulate air through the endoscope to expel rinse water. Prepare for the air purge by lifting the pump tube strainer out of the sink. Drain the sink and press play to begin the air purge step. The Scope Buddy Plus endoscope flushing aid will acknowledge a complete cycle and record the data. Press OK. Disconnect the tubing as needed to prepare the endoscope for high level disinfection. Proceed to reprocessing the endoscope as recommended by the endoscope manufacturer. Refer to the user manual for additional information when troubleshooting problems and the corrective action. If Scope Buddy Plus Endoscope Flushing Aid fails to function, or if you have any questions, contact Medivator's technical support at 1 800 444 4729 or by visiting our website at medivators.com. Medivators professionals are available to provide assistance on all Medivators products.